What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and today I am working on a TV that was donated to me by Mike, one of the viewers. It's a 65 inch LED TV and it has no power. So we're gonna troubleshoot it and I have a special tool to help me troubleshoot this TV and hopefully this new tool will make me a better technician. So let's go ahead and get started. So this TV is an Insignia 65 inch LED TV. So the TV is plugged in right now. And let's go ahead and see if we have voltage. So the power, this is coming from the power board and it supplies the standby voltage to the main logic board, which is needed to turn on the main logic board. So let's go ahead and check the standby voltage. So let me go ahead and turn on my meter. DC volts. So according to this, uh, standby volts is 5.2. And I'll put my black lead on a ground source, which is the chassis of the TV. And let's read the standby volts. So the standby volts right here is 5.2. It's steady. So we do have standby voltage going to the main logic board. Let's go head on over to the main logic board. Negative lead on a ground source. And I believe it's this one right here. This is the standby voltage. And it's steady. I don't see any bad parts, burnt up parts, anything bad right here. So I'm going to bust out my new tool I'm going to show you guys the thermal camera it was recommended by one of the viewers and so I decided to invest in my business well this is my more of a hobby me fixing TVs is a hobby now I used to be a TV repairman and a TV installer back in the day but now I do YouTube full-time and do this as a hobby part-time so I've been a little out of the game for a while you press this button to turn it on and make sure it's charged and the light is blinking and then let's go ahead and plug it in this is a type C connection and it automatically opens up that app Fleur app and it's a free app and it tells you the temperature right there I don't know if you can see that it tells you the temperature right there and you click on this and it's, you can do a photo, video, and you tap this right here to find out the temperature. So right there on that side is 84 degrees. And you can see that glowing part on the main logic board. That means it is a higher temperature. If it's glowing orange and yellow, of course it's gonna be hotter than the purple. So the purple is 84 degrees Fahrenheit. You can change it to Celsius too in the settings. And then on the main logic board, the TV is not turned on by any means but it is plugged in. Wow, look at that. And wow, this is cool. Look at that. It's reading 140, oh no, 130, 140, 142 Fahrenheit. I don't know if you can see that. It's hard to read, but it's reading a very high reading. Wow, that's cool. That's impressive. And let me check the other spots. And that's only 90, 97, 98, that's 96. Anything, uh, um, have like 110 and under is okay. These parts should not be reading over 110. Or 110, 120 is kind of, anything over that is really high. This is reading 147. Let me get closer. 150. 153 I got and then over here 96 100 this is 95 those are normal readings there's something shorted here causing it to overheat that's amazing this thing's awesome I should have bought this a long time ago let's see if I can find any shorted parts there this really helps big time now I know where to troubleshoot you know section all right let's go ahead and I'm going to unplug the TV and troubleshoot. 
And see, I'm looking for a short. That's what I'm doing. So I'm going to read this part. It's the same. This part's the same as this part. This is just an IC. Okay. That reads normal. That's all right. That's reading high. So there's something definitely, it's not shorted, but it's not reading normal. And let me look at a capacitor nearby. This is C18. And let me uh, see if it's shorted. Okay, that's one side of it. We got a shorted capacitor. This, this thermal camera is amazing. Let me turn on the light and zoom in. Holy crap, I just troubleshooted this in two seconds thanks to that thermal camera. This, this would, I have a hard time troubleshooting main logic boards because I never know where to like section to look for because I don't have schematics. But this is amazing. Here, here's the, look how small this part is. It's like microscopic. I would never think about testing that part. It's definitely short right there. And I wonder what's causing the short. Maybe this IC. This is probably bad. I will switch that out. I have to order this part. And what is that number on that? U2. This is a U3 and there's a U2 a location. And then C18 is shorting. Amazing. I'm gonna to try to actually fix this main logic board and switch out these parts. I definitely recommend this thermal camera. If this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. And if you know anyone that may find this video interesting, go ahead and click on the share button below and share this video to them. Subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay updated on the latest videos. Thanks guys for watching.